I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it. For Sean. He opens up. I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. Shit, I can't. I can't. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. What kind of a choice is that? I can't just kill a guy in cold blood like that. Let's hope he's home alone. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. Come on, think of Sean. Think of Sean. Don't look him in the eyes, just shoot! Yeah? What do you want? Ugh, oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. The guy's a dealer. A goddamn dope dealer. People die as a result of his actions. Sean's life is worth more than that. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here! You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Gosh! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting at me, you motherfucker! Whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot! <laughs> I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's gotta be another way. We're both fathers for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. This guy is just a lowlife who sells dope to kids. What's keeping me from killing this scumbag to save my son? I love Sean. Nothing and no one is gonna stop me from saving my son. He's got a family just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. I don't know this guy. He means nothing to me. The bastard tried to kill me. He was gonna blow my head off. Kill a man to save Sean? Could I look myself in the mirror after doing something like that? I have to shoot. It's his life or Sean's. I can't kill him. I'm not a murderer. If I pull the trigger, I'll be taking this man's life. I'll be killing a defenseless man in cold blood. <sighs> 
I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty.
I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Quick. I gotta find something. Don't make a sound. He's near. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. Is like stinger. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Oh my god! He's gonna cut me up! Hurry! I've gotta do something before he gets back. There's gotta be something I can do. Hello, sir. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I'm 
Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said... Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. There's gotta be something I can do. Who does not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred? Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility anytime you need it. All for me, five dollars. Rebels. No Bible for me. But... Ha 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 